First of all, um, of the 153 candidates, I, I think there is no doubt that they represented a wide range of uh, people with uh, different uh, background, um, speaking different languages, and uh, different professionals, and different uh, political views on the range of issues. So the, um, the candidates uh, that we have in this uh, LegCo general election have by and large uh, met the objective of having that diversity, which uh, you described. But at the end of the day, uh, which are the candidates that uh, voters would choose is the question for the voters, uh, not for the government. Uh, so what we like to see is, of course, we like to see uh, people from different backgrounds, but it is not for me to impose my own expectations uh, or uh, uh, requirements on uh, the uh, voters. I think each and every voter uh, have exercised their free will in uh, selecting the candidates. But I, I would say that, uh, and I would expect that working with uh, these uh, 90 candidates would continue to be very um, exciting because uh, they also have very different opinions on uh, many, many, many of the social issues that the government has to face. Uh, language is definitely not a constraint uh, in Hong Kong's political structure because uh, both English and Chinese are official uh, languages. Um, I, I'm sure that the uh, seven-term legislative council will uh, definitely discharge their constitutional duty in monitoring the government's performance, in providing the checks and balances needed, uh, in um, ensuring that the, the Hong Kong ASEAN government will uh, perform in terms of promoting economic development, improving livelihood issues, and, and so on. Uh, but you have to wait and see. Uh, there's no point uh, for you to just uh, believe in what I, I'm telling you, but wait and see. When the new LegCo uh, assumes duty on the 1st of January, I'm sure they will uh, perform uh, what I have just uh, described. Uh, my annual duty uh, uh, trip is to uh, give a full account to the leaders on the latest situation in Hong Kong, both in terms of the political situation, the economic situation, as well as the social uh, situation. Um, I, I expect to cover a wide range of uh, issues on this particular duty visit, because uh, through two very decisive uh, uh, acts of the central authorities, Hong Kong is now back on the right track of one country, two systems. And under the improved electoral system, we have already conducted uh, two of the three important elections, that is, the election of the election committee, as well as the uh, seven-term legislative council. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm sure that I will cover also on my 2021 policy address, which lays out uh, blueprints for Hong Kong to resolve uh, the housing, the land problem, the uh, economic industry uh, problem. Uh, particularly this year is the uh, first year of the 14-5 year plan. And I should also take this opportunity to thank uh, the central uh, authorities on behalf of Hong Kong for the strong support given to Hong Kong in the 14th uh, five-year plan. And since next year is the 25th anniversary of the establishment of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, I will also uh, report on the uh, preparatory work that we have done uh, to re uh, welcome this very important occasion uh, in Hong Kong. Thank you.